know the Bible is made of testaments old and new. You've been told it's just those two parts, or only one if you're a Jew. But what if I were to tell you there's a fresh third part out there, which was found by a hip new prophet who had a little Donny Osmond flair. Have you heard of the All-American Prophet? The blonde-haired, blue-eyed voice of God He didn't come from the Middle East Like those other holy men No, God's favorite prophet was All-American I'm gonna take you back to biblical times 1823 An American man named Joe living on a farm in the holy land of Rochester, New York You mean the Mormon prophet Joseph Smith? That's right, that young man spoke to God He spoke to God? And God said, Joe, people really need to know that the Bible is in two parts There's a part three to the Bible, Joe And I, God, have anointed you to dig up this part three that is buried by a tree on the hill in your backyard Wow, God says go to your backyard and start digging, that makes perfect sense Joseph Smith went up on that hill and dug where he was told And deep in the ground Joseph found shining plates of gold What are these golden plates? Who buried them here and why? Then appeared an angel, his name was Moroni I am Moroni The All-American Angel Anybody see these plates except for you? They are only for you to see. Even if people ask you to show the plates to them, don't just copy them onto normal paper. Even though this might make them question if the plates are real or not, this is sort of what God is going for. Joseph took the plates home and wrote down what he found inside He turned those plates into a book, then he rushed into town and cried Hey, God spoke to me and gave me this blessed ancient tome He had commanded me to publish it and stick it in every home Wow, so the Bible is actually a trilogy? And the Book of Mormon is Return of the Jedi? I'm interested Now, many people didn't believe the prophet Joseph Smith they thought he'd made up this part three that was buried by a tree on the hill in his backyard. Liar! But Joe said, This is no lie. Speak to God all the time, and he told me to head west. So I'll take my part three from the hill with the tree. Feel free if you'd like to come along with me to the promised land. The promised land? Paradise on the west coast. Nothing but fruit and fields as far as the eye can see. Have you heard? Searching for that place to settle down But every time they thought they'd found it They got kicked out of town And even though people wanted To see the golden plates Joseph never showed up I have maggots in my scrotum Um, okay Well anyway Now comes a part of our story that gets a little bit sad On the way to the promised land Mormons made people mad Joseph was shot by an angry mob And knew he'd soon be done You must lead the people now My good friend Brigham Young Oh God why are you letting me die without having me show people the plates? They'll have no proof I was telling the truth or not. They'll have to believe it just cause. Oh, I guess that's kind of what you were going for. 
Prophet Joseph Smith died for what he believed in. But his followers, they kept heading west. And Brigham Young led them to paradise, a sparkling land in Utah they called Salt Lake City. And there, the Mormons multiplied and made big Mormon families, generation to generation. Until finally, they made me. And now it's my job to lead you where those early settlers were led long ago! All American!